In our textbooks, we say the Civil War went from 1861 to 1865, and in battle time, that's correct. But what I write about is a phase of the Civil War that really begins at Appomattox Courthouse, and that in certain states lasts five years, longer than the battlefield fighting itself. And to think about what it means to think about that period of time, the early stages of Reconstruction, as a part of the Civil War. And what it means to understand that the participants at the time thought of it and talked about it as an extension of wartime. And that that needed to be an extension of wartime because to address the two main problems the U.S. faced after the battle time fighting, they couldn't rely on normal peace powers. To make sure that the rebels didn't rise again and to undercut their organizational structure, and to end slavery for the 2.8 million African Americans still held in slavery in the South at Appomattox, they were going to need to utilize the tools of war for years. And so we see how extraordinary their efforts were to address them, how far they went beyond the normal bounds of politics, and yet still in a troubling way it leads us back to the fact that as contemporaries we wish that more had been done. And seeing how much had been done, and yet the ways that it still ended up leading to a disappointing outcome, leads us to reflect upon, about the difficulty of creating the kinds of transformative changes that we might wish to see in the past or in the present.